Hello my beautiful badges, Messy Taxi is coming along beautifully. My kids wanted a waypoint system, so I'm going to show you how I made a very easy method of picking up, particularly my customers over here. Hello, little Among Us looking character. Kids in, where are we going to go? We're going to go to the corner flats over in House Lane. Now you see that arrow at the top made that in Pro Builder. And if I drive over here, you see it starts to get bigger and spins. The closer we get to our target, where is it going to go? Where is it? It's here! Let's drop off this little fellow. Oh no, the cops are outside his house. What have you been up to? Sit back and join. I'll see you all in a second. Here we are, back inside Unity. You might remember in the last video, we had this welcome up here. That we, we show and I'm using the same canvas to be able to put in now this little mission pickup if I put here this image you'll see that it actually takes up the whole width over here and it's got the height of 200 so let's get rid of that image and I've also got some text mesh pro text here one for the label and underneath to say where we're going to now I did have where you're being picked up from but when you get into a taxi the taxi driver doesn't say where am I picking you up from mate no he just to ask you where you're going so there you go i've also made a blank file called badger dump and i'm going to put in here a weight from before and also a little friend the fade canvas well i've updated fade canvas to do a fade in coroutine as well so look fade in it's which exactly the same as the fade out but instead of being am i am i more than zero we're saying am i less than one so it's a lot of fun okay uh we're gonna also make use of these events that i'm using i absolutely love events i can't live without them now this is just a normal singleton so this part here is just saying make sure there's only one of them in your scene and we're saying it's a, a private static client event because that's what it is here and i've called it here current so we can refer to current later on get down here though the first line this is what we're going to be listening to okay in the other scripts so the on assignment mission for example this one and here we're going to be passing in the variables so the ones we're going to be playing about with are on get mission on drop off so the on get mission when we're listening to on get mission we can pull out this mission taxi and customer that got passed through the get mission public method so likewise with the drop off we're looking for the building the mission and the taxi how do i use these if i pop over to the customer you can see here that once we are close enough so less than a certain distance we're going to call client events dot current it's that one get mission we're going to send through what mission is it what taxi and this is the customer so which customer is it now when i'm dropping off somebody we're just doing the same thing dropping off what building what mission and which taxi is it so that's what i love about these events so powerful now in my badger dump file that i've made we're just going to put here a using messy taxi so that i can use my events and we're going to start throwing in a unity event um not event queue event now it's going to go squiggly so then we can do control full stop and say put in a unity event there i'm going to call this one on get mission we're going to say um, equals new unity event and I'm going to call this one a private if I could spell private I don't need to but I'd like to and I'm also going to serialize this serialize field and I'm just going to grab you over here and I'm going to make another one and I'm going to call this one on drop off drop we could call it on end mission if you're doing anything so let's keep it vague for your games on get mission on end mission there we go also we're going to put over here using text mesh pro so tmp and we're going to throw in a couple of um private text mesh pros i'm going to call this one text uh, district if i could spell again and underneath here i'm going to say private so you know what just grab that and copy and paste it like that grab paste call this one 
destination destination and just because we're being brave I'm gonna grab a canvas group as well I'm gonna call this one canvas uh, we got a M oh you know what we need to do our blub blub and blub blub because I do not like privates without a blub in front of them and M thingamajig there we go and I'm gonna just put some serialized fields on these ones you might end up calling this canvas and these so it's actually also good to go public canvas group and call it the same name but without that one because here oh now I'll start conflicting because there already is a but well, you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it and say here get return M canvas and I'm just gonna copy this paste that into here and grab you paste you paste you remove you uh, do the same with that oh, why is my cat meowing it just been fed and I gotta make sure that they match so now I can actually say hey is there is there anything in this without having to worry about accidentally calling the private and modifying its value and down here we're gonna make we're gonna make use of our events and everything but I'm gonna do an on enable and an on destroy because we're going to use some of our messy taxi events and because we're using the the taxi so I can say client event current and on get mission plus equals now use a tab tab and it will do it for you it doesn't put really sexy names arg1 arg2 arg3 but at least with the here I can change this and say on get mission and down here um, actually you know what I'm going to change these two to event and say event so up there and I'm going to grab you and put you in the destroy but I change you from a plus to a minus so if we lose badger dump then we'll stop it will stop listening uh, and, and unity will be happy and now we're going to do the same one current but it's going to be on drop off because that's the name of my on end mission and we named it on end mission up there so I'm just going to say on end mission there we go lovely now with these little fellows I can just grab you so on the get mission say invoke and on the end mission I'm invoking this one so we don't actually have to do any code invoke beautiful so um oh you put it in the wrong place i can hear you screaming you're just randomly copying and pasting just put it in the wrong place undo undo it's up here always put your glasses on and the other thing put everything nice neatly together there we go that's better so i need to grab the end mission and i'll put the end mission here a little minus on there Let's see how that looks inside Unity. And we've got our text and our canvas, but we don't actually do anything with those yet. We've just put these in. And I also declared these variables below my events, which is ugly. So we're going to fix that up in a second. Um, what, we, what we can do is on a get mission, we're going to uh, fade in our canvas. Actually, yeah. We're going to fade in our canvas so fade in drag in our canvas over there and then we're going to wait so function wait start its timer and on the wait one after say five seconds we're going to fade out so fade out we need to drag in our canvas group and that's it so far on these so let's click let's save that click play and see what happens again I said we're, we're gonna pop back in the editor and tie that out because that's that's ugly to look at isn't it that's really ugly put some headers on there oh look it was 
straight away it's on there so we want to change that with code but we're, just for the sake of testing let's put that down to zero and click play but we'll, we'll code that in so that if you accidentally forget to put it to zero then we'll always make sure it's set to zero all we need to do that is on the start say make sure your alpha is zero and then let's drive over here oh just our luck there's no one right around the corner for us to pick up okay but it's all busy down here get in where are we going to go to we don't know yet but does it work yes it does comes in fades in and then fades out we didn't have to do any code for that we just made take advantage of our other scripts that we had from the last video right back inside the editor and do some cleaning up there we go we've moved them up the top we've added in some headers as well to make it pretty and a little bit of a space in there as well so down here we're just going to make a private method so private void uh, set our labels and we're going to pass through a mission no missions manager mission and i'm going to call it mission Ooh. we need to make sure that we have our values in here so we'll say if well not it's the if inside that bracket if text destination and text district so they've got something and then i'm going to say you know what if mission does not equal null then we can put in some values else we're just going to set squares oh curlies then we're just going to set these to be empty now somebody told me before that using string dot empty is a bit more heavy but i don't know why i don't know why what um we've got to say text by the way dot text string dot empty um I, I i still find myself doing this though as well and is that a bad habit which one do you do are you a string empty or are you a um because then you, you'd be able to do you know is string null or empty oh, but you know what do whichever one makes you happy i'm not going to come and tell you which one to use because i'm the worst person to ask so over here we're going to grab these two again because they they were wise we'll use them and we're going to say mission and it's going to be our destination district and it's going to be the display name and over here we're going to grab the mission and it's going to be the destination and the building building name now you just notice that i've got a lowercase b there i'm gonna to have to fix that myself but to change that i'll have to rename all of my buildings oh dear now over here in set labels we can go down to on our end mission we're going to put it after this one so it's the arg oh, do you know what we're going to pass it with a null because it's end mission so we're going to empty it out but before we invoke and start doing all of our magic we want to set the values otherwise it might be for a brief second you might see the text magically appear so arg one in there now I think that's pretty much oh there was one more thing we said we we're going to do wasn't there we were said we were going to put a start a void start here one second my cat is clawing at me you've been fed and you've had a stroke oh, oh man. we're going to say canvas alpha equals zero just to be safe but before that always put your error handling if there actually is something in there bizarrely i can do this but on, on the one that doesn't have a value being set i would normally put that but it's odd that you can still manipulate its values isn't it so always be careful of that because it's still public so we can still change its alpha but we just can't define what canvas it is we can change its properties a bit scary when you think about it here we go we're in helicopter lane we're driving through into hedgeford and house lane oh look at this picking up somebody straight away we're gonna go to the sweetie ice at hitchford 
And we don't have our arrow to tell us where it is, but I do know we just drove past Hitchford. So it's got to be around here somewhere. There it is! Ice cream! Ice cream! Off you go! Enjoy your ice cream! In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how we can make these lovely green arrows that point the way to your destination. Not only point the way, but also can do magical things as well, like spin around the closer you get, or get bigger, or smaller, or even change colour if you want to do, whatever you want, it's craziness. But I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. One like the events like we've just done, and the other as in the first video where we used muck events. Oh, you're going to be spoiled for choice. Just like when you're in the back of the taxi and tapping on the shoulder to say, we're home. Can you pull over? We're outside my house now. Why aren't you stopping? Why aren't you st Oh, we're going to the police station. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, never mind. If you do like it, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all your friends that Messi's in jail. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.